Hey everyone, welcome to BMW Fanatic where I'm specializing in the N54 engine type as far as product reviews, DIYs, all that kind of stuff as it relates to really any of the E90 chassis stuff and then also bringing you that BMW product knowledge. There's a lot of times to where experience and really have seen the lay of the land as far as normal things that happen or just things, just how BMWs are in general. You know, I try to bring a lot of that information and pass it off to you because this is what helps you when you get into this platform and doing all that stuff. So when I say check engine lights, you have check engine lights and you have service engine soon lights and they're two different things and that it really can sometimes really confuse people at times. And really the big point is, is that, so your DME, also known as your ECU to folks that do not know what the DME really is. So your DME will, is very cautious. It's gonna find things that it thinks maybe out of whack or out of sorts or whatever be the case and it's going to flag a SES light, a service engine soon light. And then you're going to have that pop up on your dash. The first rule of thumb, you want to check that code. And you want to check that code using a proper BMW scan tool because if you use a generic scan tool, if your code starts with a P, not correct. And the reason for that is that the translation for BMW, it's gonna give a meaning as far as, let's say you go to AutoZone or wherever and they use their generic scan tool that's not really BMW spec. It's gonna give a code, right? It's gonna give a description, but the description is gonna be very vague and it's not gonna be exact to the BMW specific. So first and foremost, make sure you have that proper scan tool. Once you actually do have that scan tool, go ahead and er erase that code. You know, jot it down what it is and obviously when it came on and maybe if your engine was doing something funky at the time, you know, you do all that kind of stuff. You know, jot it down and then just erase it. Really, if it's a major issue after that, it's gonna come back again right away. My rule of thumb has always been just, if you have a lieu of actual check engine lights and all that kind of stuff, once you erase them, see if they come back again. If they come back again, I go ahead and erase them yet again. If they come back a third time, then I further troubleshoot those exact issues. Just because they've come back on that many times, there's obviously a, an issue going on and you wanna go ahead and fix it and remedy it. So really just with doing that, you know, using, I have a JB4 that I have. I have the JB4 Connect Kit, so I use that. I have the JB4 mobile app and I can actually see BMW codes. I also have a Barbarian Technic scan tool, which is BMW spec. It scans everything that the dealer can scan, which is a great scan tool. Outside of actually scanning, you could register the battery, do data logging over 600 parameters. It's an amazing tool and it's great for the money as far as what it is. So I also use that and it's as simple as, you know, plugging in your OBD2 port, clicking on your Windows laptop. Now it does only run on Windows, but if you have a Mac and you can obviously install Windows software on your Mac and do the whole switch back and forth, that way you can still utilize that tool. It, it works wonders, it works great, and perfect support from that actual company itself if you do have further questions, kind of be the case. Translating a service engine soon light to a check engine light. Now, the service engine soon light will light up as far as if you have that issue. Now, if that issue gets even worse or a certain parameter is crossed, you're gonna trigger a cell, which is a check engine light. And that's when it's kind of like, all right, you have a major problem. Because majority of the time, the SES lights are just very basic stuff. It's not really anything crazy. Of course, limp mode, over boost, under boost, all that kind of stuff, all those major kind of codes, those are gonna be check engine lights. So you wanna definitely check those. And obviously, you know, go ahead and, and, and fix those issues uh, right away. But even with the cell, like I've had a major check engine light, a few actually in the past, and I just went ahead and raced them. I raced them just to see if they would come back and they never came back and that was three years ago. You never wanna replace your BMW parts for a check engine light or service engine light that comes on to really, you may not even have to. You know, it could just be just a little tick in the, yeah, what the DME saw and it triggered it. So you definitely don't wanna replace that. So we're doing my rule of thumb as far as erasing it a few times to see if it comes back, then that's your sure answer as far as actual problem going on that you need to buy the part and that you need to fix. Well, everyone, it's really as simple as that. Use the proper scan tools, erase, read again, erase, read again, see if it comes on, then take the next steps to acquiring the parts that you actually need to buy to actually fix your problem. So have a good one and take care.